Hi everybody, this is Aino. In this video, I take you to amazing food tour at Tokyo Skytree. Let's go! Tokyo Skytree is the highest tower in Japan. It's so huge and it's hard to look it up from bottom of the tower. It's 634 meters high. The sky view from the tower is incredible. It's really amazing, especially on a beautiful day. And around Tokyo Skytree, there are so many great restaurants and food we can have. So in this video, I share 11 food that we must have at Tokyo Skytree. I hope you enjoy the video and have a virtual trip to the end. Okay, let's get started. Please subscribe my channel. Tokyo Skytree is divided into some area, so I'll share area by area. First area is Solomach Dining. I'll share three food and restaurants from here. Our first shop is Lokunicha. It offers well effect and tasty gyokai tsukemen. Menu is very simple. It serves only gyokai tsukemen or ramen. Gyokai is seafood based soup stock and tsukemen is dipping noodles. Today, I'll have special dip noodles. Inside of the shop is very lively. Many customers come to enjoy tsukemen. And this is special dip noodles. Noodles and dipping soup are served spaghetti. Noodles for tsukemen are usually cold and dipping soup is very hot so that we can enjoy texture defense. Dipping soup is very thick and it smells so good. Soup tastes very strong of seafood, especially bonito. Soup is so fragrant and it tastes awesome. This soup is honestly so good. Soup is very, very, very thick, but it's not too salty. It's really smooth and gooey, and it just tastes brilliant. This is one of the best ramen soup for me. We normally take some noodles and dip them into dipping soup to have. Tsuke means dip, so that it's called tsukemen. Noodles are pretty fat and these take lots of soup to the mouth. Because noodles are thick, so these are really chewy. Thick noodles and thick soup, both are perfectly matched. Once we have tsukemen from Lokisha, we can forget about its wonderful tsukemen. This is fantastic. Noodles are very thick, but these are very smooth and moist. Aroma of noodles for is very good. I guess we can enjoy only noodle soup. Toppings for special dip noodles are minced chicken, bonit fora on dry seaweed, naruto, fish cake, memma, bamboo shirt, chashu, steamer pork, and half boiled seasoning. Every one of the topping is well seasoned, but it doesn't bother ramen soup. Toppings are well harmonized with well thick seafood based soup. Noodles, Dipping soup and toppings, everything is perfect. I'm really sure that you love this tsukemen too. Local Asia is very famous and busy. Take plenty time for tsukemen. Second my recommended shop is Tamahide Ichino. It serves a very famous Japanese rice bowl, Oyakodon. This is an Oyakodon specialized shop. It offers only Oyakodon. Inside of the restaurant is very traditional style interior. There are only counter seats. Soup also comes with oyakodon. It looks, it tastes thin, but it tastes full of flavor of chicken broth. Mint chicken bowl is in soup. This is very tasty and meaty. It's pure taste of chicken. There's a small bowl on top of the last bowl there, and pickled veggie is inside. This is very crunchy. This is kiwami oyakodon. Oyakodon is half boiled scramble egg with chopped chicken on rice bowl. Chicken and scumbo egg are similar in soup stock, typically bonnie flour. This is really savory. It has super different flavor and it tastes so rich of chicken and egg. Scumbo egg is nicely similar and half white. It's jiggly. Egg tastes really rich. Some different part of chicken in the bowl. Chicken is very tender and juicy. Fine blonde egg yolk is topped on the middle. This makes even richer. Mild and mellow taste egg yolk is brilliant. It's not food, it's a drink. That much, this is really smooth and runny. It could be the number one oyakodon in Tokyo. We have two dishes, so let's have this up next. Next shop is Gion Tsujiri. This is a Japanese green tea shop, so we can enjoy rich matcha dessert and drink. We can have matcha flavored soft stuff and drink like frappuccino and tea. Food samples are out of kitchen, so it's easy to see what we want to have. There's an eating space just in front of the shop. We can have desserts with wonderful view. 
I've got a special soft serve, which is Tsujiri Street Soft with three flavor green tea. Matcha, Gen Matcha, Brown Rice Green Tea, and Hojja Roasted Green Tea Soft Serve on the waffle bowl. It tastes really rich of matcha and some sort of green tea. This is good. Japanese sweets, Shiratama Mochi, Rice Cake, Plain and Matcha Flavor. Anko, Sweet Smash Red Bean Paste, and Sliced Sweet Potato. And Match Snack also come with soft serve. This plastic spoon is really interesting. It's Tokyo Skytree. We can have it only at Skytree. Rich match sauce is in this special bottle. To put this sauce, we can have even richer taste of soft serve. Once we have this, all the palate is full of happiness on matcha. This is really flavorful. I'm sure you'll be into matcha. If you love matcha, you can't miss this wonderful soft serve. Tsujiri also sells matcha and green tea for souvenir. Grab some for your friends. Let's move on to the next area, which is Solamachi Shopping Street. There are some great restaurants over here. A miso soup specialized restaurant called Misoju is my best recommendation. We can have very traditional miso soup combo, and it offers various kind of miso soup. Select your favorite miso soup and rice bowl. And this is chunky veggie and pork tonjil set. We can have onigiri, rice bowl, and some extra side dishes. I got tofu, pickled veggie, and grilled chicken for today. Main dish is miso set. It has very gentle taste and it tastes really rich of miso and veggies. This is the taste of Japan. It's good. Soup is slightly thick and it's full of flavor of miso with soup soup. Japanese loves miso soup and we usually make miso soup at home almost every day. But this miso soup tastes much better. Veggies in miso soup are amazing. It's so big, but it's very smart so veggies are really soft and juicy. Every one of ingredients in miso soup is so chunky. Especially this simon pork belly is very tender. Pork meat and fat soon gets melted in the mouth. Ingredients are chopped green onion, butter, carrot, Japanese radish, and cognac. As you can see, these are really big, so we can enjoy pure flavor of chunky veggies. We actually don't need to buy them all. Veggies are automatically loosened and disappeared. We can pick some sort of rice bowl onigiri. I selected plum with shiso leaves onigiri. It tastes really refresh. Rice is nicely cooked, so texture is soft yet poppy. Season egg, tofu, pickled veggies, and glued chicken have also gentle taste. These are more like Japanese taste and good accent for the miso soup combo. This is a dish that I'd like you to have in Japan. The second shop on the street is Echizen Kaisen Club. This is a seafood rice cracker shop. We can have some kinds of rice crackers such as squid, shrimp, etc. Shops that make rice cracker in the shop, so we can have very hot and crispy seafood rice cracker right away. They make it with this special pressure machine. Sound of pressing and smells of baking are really good. This is squid cartilage rice cracker. Two pieces of cartilage are in this rice cracker. It's so flagrant of lostness. Rice cracker is very crispy. This is great light snack. It tastes pretty salty and so rich of squid cartilage. Rice cracker is not that bad, but this is really fearful, so one's not enough for me. I can't stop eating this. I want more and more. Let's visit and see what we can have at food court called Solamach Tabitras. We can have variety food here. First thing in the shop is a soba noodles restaurant. Masuke. This is a fine soba noodles restaurant in Nishiazori, so we can have high quality soba noodles even at food court. This is the menu. We can have some hot and cold soba noodles. Today, I'll share Nik Soba. Food court is really big, open and wide space. There are many tables, so we can casually have food at food court. This is Nik Soba. Cold soba noodles and hot dipping soup are served separately. Soba noodle san is really good. Dipping soup is soy sauce based bonnet broth. Soup also smells good. Soba is really thin and noodles are really chewy. Dipping soup tastes really good. This is savory soba and dipping soup. 
soba is sometimes dry, but these soba noodles are well cooled by cold water, so these are really smooth and moist. Aroma of soba flour is pretty strong, so we can enjoy the taste and sound of soba noodles. Dipping soup is runny, but it tastes rich enough. Saltiness of soy sauce and richness of bonus broth are brilliant. Toppings for dipping soup are sliced pork belly and Chinese cheese. Both are very similar, so they are very seasoned and tasty. To dip soba noodles into soup, we can enjoy soba noodles even more. Ramen is really famous food from Japan, but soba noodles are also really good. Try it out! I'll share one more food from Food Court. Next one is banana biori. This is a banana specialized shop, so we can have some banana bread. Lots of banana is displayed in the showcase, and we can have banana juice, chocolate coated banana, and banana soft stuff. I got very thick and rich banana shapes. No sugar in banana juice, but this is really sweet and tastes so rich of banana. It says juice, but it's more like smoothie. That much, this is really thick and tasty. Banana is very dense and this is so gooey. I can make a pig with banana juice. However, this is really good refreshment. It's very thick, but it's really juicy. I think everyone loves this banana juice. Banana chocolate steak also looks nice too. I hope you love banana products and find your favorite banana bread. Let's see some more lessons in Tokyo Sky Tree. I'd like to see a Kavi Cafe for the first. Kavi is a famous game character from Nintendo. And this is the Kavi theme cafe in Tokyo Sky Tree. We can have adorable Kavi food. To get in the cafe, we need a bucket. So I'll have takeout food for today. Inside of the cafe is so cute. Kavi's characters are everywhere in the cafe. There are some photo spots in the cafe. We can take pictures with Kavi. And this is takeout Kavi hamburger and fried potato with Kavi souvenir lunchbox. Size is not that bad. It's almost as big as my hand. Kavi hamburger is in Kavi. Paper wrapping is really cute. Fried potato is underneath the hamburger. Hash browns are shaped as stones. It's crispy and it's bite size, which is also come with it. It's soft and flaky. Carby hamburger is really interesting. Burns are pink, and Carby face is brown on the surface. I thought this would be bread, but this is not. This is light timber. Tomato, sliced cheese, meat patty, and some lettuce are sandwiched. Buns are really soft, fluffy, and chewy. It's really moist. Meat party is really juicy and it's good with chewy buns. This is good and good. I was a little bit puzzled. These buns are good as hamburger, but it tastes good. It's not like a common hamburger, but it's very unique curvy hamburger. If you love curvy, this is great. There's another coffee shop, which is Curvy Cafe the Soul. It mainly sells curvy products such as stationaries, but we can have food at the Soul. It offers Kavi steamed bun and also tropical drink. I've got Kavi custard bun and inhale star drink with Kavi mascot. This is Kavi custard cooling bun. It's pink and Kavi face is brown on top. Now I'm sure Kavi hamburger buns are same as this one. Steamed bun is even softer than hamburger buns. Wow, it tastes awesome! Steamed bun is really soft and moist and custard cream is really smooth. Creamy and eggy. It tastes nice and plus it's nice. I think it's better than hamburger. This is inhale star drink with Kavi. The theme of this drink is the character of Kavi, Krako makes thunder. So the top layer is blue and bottom layer is yellow. We can have a special straw with Kavi. Kavi is inhaling. We need to shake the drink to mix up there. Let's do it. And then it's ready to drink. Put in the straw to see special coffee world's taste. Be careful, you may get thunder. It tastes really refreshed and chopped pineapple is very tasty. This is good. It costs pretty much as a drink, but this is really amusing drink for coffee mania. We can buy many coffee goods at coffee cafe and the store. Shopping is also looking good. Which one would you like? The next shop is Strawberry Mania. As name shows, this is a strawberry specialized shop. We can enjoy fine strawberry products such as strawberry candy, soft salt, smoothie, etc. 
I got a famous Japanese snack, which is daifuku. Outside is mochi, rice cake, so that daifuku is really soft and stretchy. It's amazing, isn't it? Fresh strawberry is on top. Strawberry daifuku is usually seasonal food in Japan, but we can have strawberry daifuku at strawberry mania through the year. Rice cake is really soft and chewy. Much sweet red bean paste is wrapped inside. Mochi is really stretchy. This is traditional style Japanese sweet. We love it from long time ago. Mochi tastes flat, but red bean paste tastes sweet and it has gentle taste. Blood of red bean paste is pretty solid, but it's really smooth. The next shop is Pilipibon, which is a cake shop. It offers various kinds of tarts. It mainly serves tart cake. We can have from very famous tart cake such as strawberry, chocolate, to very seasonal cake such as chestnut, etc. Inside of the cafe is very lively. There are 4 to 6 tables for customers. It's the very busy shop, especially on the weekend. I got a seasonal fruit salad. It looks so gorgeous. Many different kinds of fruits on the top. Tart cake is very flavorful and fruits are very fresh and juicy. This is great. Fruits are pretty big. Orange, pineapple, strawberry, mango, banana, blueberry, and more fruits on the top. This is wonderful dessert for the afternoon tea break. Custard cream is creamy and smooth. It's slightly sweet. Buttery and crunchy tartu is very good. We can have fine tea and coffee biscuit. You'll have great time and desserts at Kilpebon. What do you think? This is my recommended suggestion. The last shop that I recommend is Arturo. This is a sweet shop like puddings and cakes, but the number one recommended sweet is Kulimpa. This is Kulimpa from South Sugar. It looks completely different than we know. It's a long steak and roasted black sesame is sprinkled on top. Cream puff food is usually soft, but this is really crispy and flaky. Custard cream is so creamy. This is awesome! Do is pretty hot more than I thought, but this crunchy texture is really good. Lossy sesame is great accent with this sweetness. Custard cream is really tasty, and this is very smooth. It tastes gentle sweetness of sugar and milk. I love soft type cream puff, but this is also great. Aquarium, Sky Tree Observatory, and Planetarium are also here. There are many more places that we can enjoy at Tokyo Sky Tree like Pokemon Center. When you come to Tokyo, I recommend to visit Tokyo Sky Tree. This is very close to Asakusa and one of the greatest travel spots in Tokyo. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I hope this video helps your travel in Japan. I hope you enjoy my video. These are my recommendation videos that you may like. Please click like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. This is all of today. Have a good day and good night. Bye!